Steve, and today we're going to do a how-to um, section on the Prima 4 by Magic Card, and the how-to is going to be on how all the special features in this printer work. Um, and as always, I'm going to have the bad photo ID of the day. Before we get into our our how-to section, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Magic Card Prima 4. This is a retransfer printer, which means it transfers the image onto the card as opposed to printing directly to the car. The advantages of this is higher quality printing. You also have a lifetime warranty on the printhead, which means you'll never need to buy a printhead again. And the printing goes over the edge of the card, so if you want a card that looks like it was printed on a printing press, this is the printer for you, because um, you don't have to leave that sixteenth of an inch white border that the direct-to-card printers have to have or else it would destroy the printhead. Um, and it comes standard with USB and Ethernet connections. Um, so now we're going to get into the how-to section and I'm going to have a guest host today which is Kyle from our tech department down in the hall here and he's going to tell you about all the special features of the Prima 4. All right, thanks Steve. Um, so kind of just an overview. Um, if you're buying just the Prima 4 and not the lamination unit, you'll be getting this portion of the printer. Um, lamination unit is an add-on and we'll discuss that in a few. Uh, but as Steve was saying, there is two ports on the back. There is a standard USB port, um, 2.0, and there is a standard network point port. Um, this printer can run on a print server for static IP and all of that, or it can run on DHCP network um, for those who don't have the luxury of print server. Um, some of the upgrades that you can put into these printers um, are a what they call a turnover unit, which enables it to print double-sided. Um, that's right here. Um, it, you know, you can take one of these tools, spin the, spin the, you know, spin it um, if it gets jammed or something like that. Um, if you have just a standard printer, you won't be able to do that. Um, this printer can encode magnetic um, as well as smart card and um, uh, MyFair cards as well. Um, otherwise you can get card hopper extenders. Um, the card output hopper, you know, that holds 150 to 200 cards depending on what you, what thickness of card you have. Um, lamination unit now, they have um, either just a single sided or a dual sided lamination unit. So if we were to open this up, um, you see it looks pretty similar to the actual printer internals. Um, but if you were to get single-sided lamination, you know, one of these units would be missing. Um, as right now, we have a dual-sided lamination. Um, you know, that's just some of the features that it has. Um, if there's any special needs, you know, you can give us a call and we can tell you if it's able to do whatever you need it to do or we can suggest something for you. All right, thanks a lot, Kyle. Yeah. And as promised, the bad and sometimes scary photo ID of the day. And while you're looking at that, um, if you have any questions and you want to submit them to our the Ask Steve Show, just go to our website and use our Facebook connection and send us a question. And if it's used on the show, we'll send you a nice little gift. And the other thing that we want to offer to you today is if you'll spend five minutes and give us a call and let us compare our super competitive pricing. Um, we will give you a $5 Starbucks card. Look to our website for the details on that offer and that website is idedge.com and our 800 number is 800-798-3343.